So we have talked about latent heat. We've talked about adding BTUs. We have talked about changing the temperature. We have at, talked about how by increasing the pressure, you have made a vapor hotter without adding any heat to it. After talking about all, the, all of those things, now we get into the real stuff. Because all of that will come into play now when we start talking about the four parts of the refrigeration system. They are the compressor, the condenser, the evaporator, and the metering device. You have to have those four components. Anytime you have an air conditioning system, it will need all of those four components. Now you can't have more, but that's the minimum right there. If you work in a building and there is a chiller, a large, large chiller that will move, let's say, 600 tons, 600 tons of cooling, that's a lot. It still needs to have the compressor, the condenser, the evaporator, the metering device. If in your home you have a small window unit that goes right in the window to cool that room down, guess what? It has the same four components, the compressor, the condenser, the evaporator, and the metering device. It makes no difference. You, got, you have to have those four. So if you understand one, you will be able to understand the other. And that's what I'm trying to do, is to get you to understand what happens in there and how it works so you can see how it works in a small one and how it, can, how it works in a, one of those big, giant chillers. Now let's talk about those four components again. I mentioned the compressor. What is the purpose?